Hi, I'm David Harry, and in this video, I'm going to show how you can pair up an Amazon Fire TV stick remote control with a, a generic uh, Android TV box, you know, just them cheap TV Android, Android TV boxes which you can buy on eBay and Amazon and whatnot. Um, now, just quickly, uh, this particular video, as you can see, it's been it's actually been shot with me video camera straight at the TV. I normally do screen grabbing and direct recording and stuff, but for this particular one, I just thought it best to be able to put the the remotes into shot and stuff. So, yeah, it's not quite as good a quality as I normally would do, but hopefully it'll get the point across a bit easier. Now, the reason why you might want to uh, pair up one of these remote controls is because simply you just prefer the Amazon remote control as opposed to, you know, the cheaper remote controls that you get with these generic uh, Android TV boxes. And a lot of these TV boxes as well, the remote controls are not particularly that good on them. I don't find they're very well built. And as simple as the Amazon TV uh, remote is, it's great, it just does exactly what it needs to do, and it does it all dead, you know, without any fuss. I mean, as a for instance, this here, I'm not too sure how well it's going to pick this up. I'll try zooming in a bit afterwards. But this particular remote is what comes with the box anyway. Now, this remote, as if you watch this, if I start clicking on things, it's not going to do anything. And the reason for that is, is because it needs to be in line of sight of the, the box. See? So that's another good reason why you might want to change over. Um, because the Amazon, the, the sorry, the, yeah, the Amazon remote, it's um, it's Bluetooth, so it doesn't need to be in direct line of sight. So it means you can put your box behind a TV and not have to worry about it. Okay, so I'll just crack straight on with this. So what you do, wherever you are on whatever interface you're using, whichever version of it, Android is on your box, find the settings control like I've got here. So click onto settings. And then within here, you've got a number of uh, options in settings. So what you need to do is go to remote and accessories and then go to add accessory. Now, unfortunately, this won't work for some people. I found this out myself as well. Uh, I've used a, a number of these small um, Android TV boxes. And unfortunately, some of them just don't have the Bluetooth function activated on them. So this is only for people, obviously, you've got the Bluetooth function. Uh, available to them on their boxes. So what I'll do with the, with the with its normal remote, I'll go in, hit add accessory. Now up here, as you can see, it's uh, Bluetooth is off or on. Now what I'm going to do before I, I switch it on, because as soon as you switch it on, it goes into pairing mode. What I'm going to do, there's the Android TV stick. Uh, so the yeah, so the Android TV remote, and as you can see, it has no effect whatsoever on this box as it wouldn't because it's not connected so what i'll do i will hold down the home button on the actual uh, on the android uh, on the android remote so hold that down and as i'm holding it down i'm, <laughs> I'm then going to switch bluetooth on on the actual box so there's bluetooth on so as bluetooth switches on on the box what it does it goes straight into pairing mode and as you can see there it's found the amazon fire tv remote now let go of the home button on the remote. You may not need to hold it for that long, I'm not entirely sure, but I just do it until I can actually see it on the screen and normally I select it as well before I let go. Then what you do, simply scroll down, hit select, give it a few seconds and there you go, it's now connected. And as you can see, there's my Amazon remote and if I start moving it about, sweet, there you go. So it's now paired. So I'll go back to the home screen. And as you can see here, yeah, look, see, I can put the remote anywhere and it'll activate it or work. I'll put it behind the TV. There you go, it's cool. So this is all because it's Bluetooth. I find it, it's a much better remote as well. It's nice and simple, does exactly what it needs to do and it just works great on these boxes as well. Okay, so open, I hope you've found this um, interesting and handy and helpful. And oh yeah, by the way, I've done another video as well which shows how to pair up a Bluetooth keyboard and uh, trackpad with one of these boxes as well. So go and check that one out. All right, well, thanks very much for watching the video. Take care. Goodbye now.